Bleed black and gold, buff forever. You already know, man. It's your boy, you know T Green, and I'm back with another one. Man, I'm so glad we back in full rotation because, yes, it was fun enjoying the Easter weekend and all the celebrations and all the things that come with that. And then we had spring break right before that. So it seemed like we haven't had a lot of news, you know, and I didn't want to just post anything. And, you know, I'm just not that type of person. But I can tell you this, though. I am happy to hear this news, hear what I'm about to talk about. Because if you don't know, y'all, Pat Schumer sees great potential in our sophomore running back, Dylan Edwards, y'all. And I'm so happy he has said something about this young man, Dylan, because we know Dylan is a true dog, man. I mean, he's a beast, you know what I mean? So keep in mind, Dylan followed Prime all the way from Jackson State days, up here to see you buffaloes he had a decent year last year and i always said in my videos y'all could go back and play them we need to utilize dylan Edwards a little bit more not only is he's a speedster and also he's running track for i see you buffaloes <laughs> not to, can't forget about that this dude is is, is unbelievable but anyway our offensive coordinator pat schumer right he sees great potential as i mentioned he but he had this to say we're going to try to use his talents and his shrimps. Obviously, he can be very dynamic with the ball in his hands. He had a lot of production early on. And as the season wore on, I think it's fair to say he got kind of banged up too. Whether it's style of running, running him to the perimeter, catching passes, try to utilize his shrimp and practice them early, just not try to crank up plays like midweek for him. So, what does that tell us? That tell us one thing. Pat Schumer is going to try to draw up some plays to utilize this young man because Dylan is special. We know he could catch out the backfield. We know he could get to the perimeter. We know he run like as if he sits to 230 pounds. But no, this is one of the smallest dudes on the team, but yet one of the strongest dudes on the team at the same time. And he's the fastest, if not the fastest. I mean, let me think about this. Let me think. We got uh, uh, Jimmy Horn. We got Edwards. And I think LeJante, uh, our new transfer from FAU, I think he ran a 4-6, no, 4-5 or 4-4. Four, four. Either way it go, Dylan is probably the fastest player on the team, hands down. Let's just be honest. Pass or no pass, hands down, the fastest player on the team. So it's important that we utilize him this year more than we utilized him last year. Now, I, 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 I'm not sure when uh, Pat Schumer said, you know, he was a little banged up. He probably could have been a little bit banged up, but he only had 321 rushing yards, but he had 36 pass catches for 299 yards. And we didn't utilize Dylan to his best of his abilities, so I don't think he was that banged up. But I, I, I'm trying to thank him, but I, I really don't think that part is... Uh, I mean, everybody be banged up as the season go on, so that could be true. Um, but regardless, we have to utilize this young man uh, way more than what we did last year because he is special and I think if we you know continue to be creative like I want to see what type of offense it's, it's really hard to say because we only saw a little bit of Pat Schumer office offense going you know out of the year and let's be honest here he just had to work with what he had to work with you know what I mean so it wasn't really no crazy plays it was just a hey, going through the same mechanics now coming into spring ball now I'm curious to see really what type of offense are we going to be running are we running more RPOs this season around or are we going to test the waters where we doing a little bit of both RPOs and then you know we we have a, a nice you know wide receiver set scheme that we're going to be I don't know it's, it's just kind of hard to 
the the uh, the, the tail. I mean, I me. This is just me personally saying this. I really hope we not going to four wide, five wide, one running back in the backfield type offense. I mean, yeah, that's that's cool and all because we got some offensive linemen who could now you know protect your door. But at the end of the day, hey man, <laughs> we need to get down there in the trenches, man. There's no reason why we shouldn't be running a two running back set. Like, come on, man, with the talent is there in the running back room is deep but anyway i'm not gonna be long-winded on this i was just hype and i'm i'm a big dylan that was fan okay i'm just gonna go ahead and admit that i've been rooting for this man since jackson state so hey i i want to see him do it and i want to see him do it big because you know hey y'all be underestimating these hbcu transfers like if, if, if these dudes is not dumb don't get it twisted but that's a whole nother conversation in itself but anyway more other good news, y'all. I know this one got got kind of overshadowed a little bit, especially with Warren Sapp um, arriving out here in Boulder. You know, this this kind of went over a lot of people's heads. Um, but CU Buffaloes has hired George Hageman as the director of leadership and engagement, y'all. This is a good look because he's a former NFL player. You know, won the Super Bowl. He's, he's like a seven, eight year NFL vet. I mean, the dude is really him and not only that he played with coach prime out there at the dallas cowboys man so you know they locked in like twins man come on now you know what i mean he come to see you from <laughs> img academy who just came from img academy jordan seaton so connect the dots people it's all making sense it's all making sense and don't get it twisted now we haven't forgot it's another young man down at img academy we may be trying to go out the <laughs> y'all know who i'm talking about so no need to even say but we're gonna see how that work out but anyway shout out to mr hickman because man this is a good look as i said before these young men because he is a certified life coach y'all that's right he's going to be able to go in here and talk that good positivity to these young men and also help them through what they're going through if they're going through anything you know what i mean and i like the little messages that he have on especially on this twitter he had a quote here y'all he said believe you can and you're halfway there now i'm not gonna say this was by him i don't know but i really do love that quote because it is so true if you believe you can guess what you halfway there you just gotta go ahead and tie up your shoelaces and put that uh your best foot forward you know what i mean so hey this is like i said a, a very good look all jokes aside because not only he could come in here and talk to these offensive of linemen and defensive linemen because, you know, he be holding camps, all kind of stuff, you know, and he could give some good pointers like, hey, you know, I may not be down there as a coach, but, you know, <laughs> do this or do that, you know, that'll help your game out. Little stuff like that is priceless very very priceless and the fact that like i said he's a certified life coach man he could go in here and help these guys become better men and at the end of the day that's what coach prime won't he just want all of his players to become great men you know what i mean and if he keep producing that you only you know better in this world that we live in so I, I I just like it. I ain't gonna lie. I just like it. You uplifting brothers and you helping us at the end of the day. I mean, you know, hey, <laughs> it don't get no better than that. But man, anyway, I hope everybody out there having a good day. You already know this, your boy, you know, T Green. And I'm gonna be right back with another one, just like I always do, baby. You already know the motto. You already know the motto, man. Another day above ground is what? Truly a blessing. Like, share, subscribe, tune in with your boy, you know, T Green. And I'm going to be right back with another one.